Hi, I'm Officer UFO1, and this is Battlefield 2042. Yeah, we have a uh, 31 knots sustained. There's the FXM 33 anti aircraft missile launcher you can see there. And I'm going to be uh, taking a closer look at that. And the gun there that I'm using is Special Forces Assault Rifle. There's the Mamba um, outfit for recon. And we'll start out on Hourglass here. So the first thing I'm going to do is get up to a quick start and uh, secure an objective here. Very important. Um, no one's there. It's like getting three points. And for anyone that watched my previous uh, video, I'm going to be showing a lot more control this time as far as uh, using, it, using the EMP. And I'll put down some anti-tank lines there. Again, those will work uh, on any vehicles and hit them to destroy. Got to start securing sectors. Enemy has majority control. Enemy has so I'm gonna go problem. scout around in the drone, see if there's any enemy movement. There's definitely a helicopter uh, nearby. Enemy helicopter. Here's an enemy. I'm gonna get out of the drone, and I'm gonna take him down with this. Uh, Tango down, not moving. SFAR MGL, that stands for Special Forces Assault Rifle. Military. Um, and here's the anti aircraft launch missile launcher. The FXM 33. Now once it locks onto them, it follows them on its own after that. You don't have to maintain a lock. I'm gonna keep... He's flying in my range, he's out of my range, so th that's an easy kill for me. Especially if he's already taken fire. I got him. I'm just going to get points by uh, spotting enemies. And it highlights them so that uh, friendlies can see them highlighted. Otherwise, they're not highlighted normally. Sector Delta is under our control. And I just got an Intel ribbon. That's 1,000 XP, so that's a quick way to level up there. And I was showing that in my previous video uh, as well. But I've got some new stuff I'm going to show in this one. But I just wanted to show how to level up quick with the drone. And you can sit there all day long spawning enemies and getting 1000 XP Intel Ribbons. And I'm going to show you another way to get them. 
this episode using the drone, using the EMP part of the drone that the drone is equipped with to hit enemy vehicles with an EMP. So I'll show you that in a few moments. Looks like there's enemies attacking Echo 2. So I'm gonna respond with my assault rifle. I'm gonna take him down. I'm gonna hide in the bushes here. I've got the recon outfit, and it's perfect for hiding in the bushes. Now this Special Forces assault rifle is single shot and fully auto. And then again, it also comes with that 40 millimeter grenade launcher. We'll take a look at that. I'm going to get a number of uh, kills with it. I'll show you. I'm going to try to hit this guy with an EMP, but he's pretty quick. And he just hopped out right when I was getting ready to hit him. Just as I locked on. He's back in it. Let me see if I can get down there again. I'm trying to lock on. As soon as I started locking on, he jumped out. And now enemies are getting close to me. I'm going to have to get ready. And I've got single shot this time. Single shot. I switched from fully auto just to show you guys. That's going to put me in advantage up, a disadvantage up close though. See? Up close I want full auto. He almost got me, I had to pull my knife out. But at a distance, I, I, have a, I have an advantage with single shot. I usually keep it on full auto though, unless somebody's really far. Here's a look at the F-35E Panther. Single engine, very powerful, very fast. And I've already got uh, following this guy. He's in big trouble once I get on him. Got him. It's the problem with jets is if somebody gets on your tail, it's very hard to lose, get them to lose them. I've got a couple of loops I do that I try. You must return to the combat area. That if that doesn't lose them, nothing will. So I'll do a loop like I just did, and then I'll do another one reverse going the other way. Figure eight. Move. Sort of move. Alright, let's see. This. Okay, so I can't aim down the sights for some reason. Either somebody has a mod, and, and when they. Whoever's good in it. So I'm going to use my grenade launcher. You see, I use my grenade launcher there. So if anyone's having that problem where you can't aim down your sights, use this gun that I just showed you with the grenade launcher. We'll get back to that in a moment. Right here, I'm going to show you guys the SU-57 Fallon. It's a twin engine. It's got two, two small uh, and twin engines. Here's a look at the cockpit. I've been wanting to show the cockpit more often. I'm just looking for a target right now. For some reason, I couldn't aim down my sights, though. Uh, in this game, that's been a problem recently. So there's either a mod somebody's using, kind of instead of using like a lag switch where you make the person lag, it makes people within a certain range uh, they, where they can't aim down their sights, puts them at a big disadvantage. 
Alright, I see two uh, aircraft and they got one Flying Angel 6. So I'm going to try to lock onto the, uh, the guy that's Flying Angel 6. And it looks like they're starting to break apart. Got that one. We have the advantage. They will do also, the game could have a glitch or something that's causing... Um, he and I just shot at each other just at about the same time. But the game could have a glitch where it's preventing people from aiming down the sights. But my solution is use that gun that I was using. I'm going to show, show you guys some more of it in a few minutes. And you can just switch to the grenade launcher like I did. You saw how easy it was for me to get that kill. When the, when the problem happens where you can't, can't aim down your sights, you can still use the grenade launcher. This is going to be my uh, Battlefield 2042 uh, finale, my final video. So I wanted to do a part two, tips and tricks on how to level up quick. I've got some uh, new stuff I'm working on, some new projects and stuff to present uh, in the near future. Initiating attack on objective Alpha One. The enemy is short on the resources. They are desperate! They control most sectors on the battlefield. Are now under our control. Here's the map discarded. We'll take a look at this map for a few minutes. I'm going to show you guys the uh, FXM 33 anti aircraft missile launcher here. We'll take a look at I'm going to get a multi kill with it. There's a bunch of people flying in that helicopter right there. It's full. It's a, it's a transport. Allied forces now holding sector Delta. Our troops have lost an objective. And we've got enemy movement. Here's another look at the SFAR MGL, or the Special Forces Assault Rifle. And I don't think they quite see me. He saw me. Give me an assessment. We haven't kept pace as the hostiles take objectives. One of our objectives is being invaded. I'm going to see if I can hit this tank with an EMP. An electromagnetic pulse. Disables all their equipment. Got him. Oh, I got enemy movement. Let me see if I can hit that vehicle with another EMP. Oh, they're starting to move away. i got to see if I can find who is moving near me. 
Oh, yeah, there's a couple of uh, enemies there. Friendly helicopter might have kept him off my tail for a second. And now they're moving away. They got mines set up right there. I don't think anyone's going to hit those mines there. I could steal their vehicle. I got a bird's eye view of both of them. There goes one of them. I'm going to kill him. This guy doesn't move. I'm gonna get back on my drone. Let me sneak around this corner and see if I can see him. Looks clear now. And here's the M5C bolt. I'm going to be showing a little bit more of this uh, in a few minutes. But this is another uh, thing that I'm going to feature this episode. We're going to be taking a close look at is the this vehicle, the M5C bolt that I unlocked at level 50. So I just reached level 50, and now I'm getting ready to uh, quit Battlefield 2042. I just wanted to get to level 50, do a couple of. Uh, Videos showing tips and tricks and how to level up quick. Tell you guys what I learned. That was an easy kill right there. He was trying to hide, but I've got the minigun. You can unlock a couple of other weapons for this uh, vehicle as well. Cool thing about that M5C bolt is the armor on it is a little bit better than the armor on the um, LATV. And if you're alone, it's a little quicker because you can switch back between driving and the main gunner seat with just a single click instead of having to cycle through between four seats like the LATV does. It also has a secret weapon that I'll uh, show you guys here in a few minutes that a lot of people don't realize or know about. You don't have to unlock it, it comes by default and it's a secret weapon. Let me hit this guy with an EMP. Just disable all of his equipment there. His heads up display won't work, for example. And a lot of times you do that and they take off. They don't like that when you do that to them when they're in the helicopter. It messes them up. You saw how quick he moved away. I'm gonna try to get him again. Oh yeah, I got him again. Take a check directo. Good work. Majority sectors are under our control. Oh, now friendly helicopters on them. I'm gonna try to help this guy out here and keep the uh, enemy target marked or spotted. I say marked, but it's spotted. It just highlighted. I say marked instead of highlighted say spotted and then let's see if I can hit this guy with an EMP also and he might get my are those my mines hit him with the EMP before he destroys the mines he got the mines if I could have got him with the EMP it would have scrambled his system and he wouldn't have seen the mines that's okay He's taking off. I'm not gonna follow him too far. Yeah, 
in a few moments, back. we're going to switch one to another map back here. Home. This one's ending anyway. Don't be sad. This is just how it works out sometimes. Never had a doubt in my mind. Spectacular. And there's the hex mesh tri weave, hex mesh tri weave, and I'm also using the Mamba combat uniforms. The hex mesh tri weave is the darker one. It's, it's a black color, and uh, Mamba is I use it on um, hourglass sometimes, or on this map, and it's like a brownish desert color. So let me head over to E1 and see if I can secure that on foot. Try to get off to a quick start. This is Renewal. And we're going to be taking a look at the anti-tank mine here in a, a minute or so. Something I highly recommend uh, unlocking and trying out if you play Battlefield 2042. Always put it in a spot right near the objective or in an area where you know they're going to have to go to in order to get to the objective. The launcher's better because you get three shots no matter what. Whereas the mines, if they see them, they destroy them. And I got enemy movement. trying to find enemy movement. You'll notice that as I'm trying to level up a new gun, and that's what I'm doing with this Special Forces Assault Rifle, I'll camp right at the objective. Because you're going to get action if you camp at the objective. You will get action. So I know they're coming. And I'm pretty much going to keep doing that. And you'll see me. I unlock this uh, sight now that I just put on the gun, and that's a 3 by sight. It's the second optic that you unlock. The first one is more like a holographic, very close range style. I didn't really like it. I went either iron sights or straight to this one when I unlocked this one. Okay. Uh, this is just another look at that vehicle. The M5C Bolt. Explosion set. 
explosives in place. I just don't like the the weapons that much in in this in this vehicle in the bolt and also in the LATV. I wish they were a little more powerful. I feel like they nerfed all of them. The minigun takes too long to to kick in and to get going. And then the damage you take if they hit you with a launcher, it, it's not it just doesn't seem uh, fair. So. I don't use the vehicles too much, and I'm pretty careful with them. Our troops have captured Sector Charlie. You can see I hit left on the pad there, and that made uh, smoke. It'll prevent prevent enemy missile launchers from locking onto me. And it'll give me a little bit of cover for a moment. And it quickly recharges again. It doesn't... There's no limit to, this, to that. And then if you go right on the D-pad, I'll show you guys in a few minutes. No there's a secret weapon. Very powerful. If we don't stop them, they'll take every sector. Bravo 1 under assault by Allied forces. There's an enemy tank Where right there. Our forces are struggling to control objectives, sir. I'm gonna hit him with an EMP. That really bothers him. Now he's flying blind. Let me hit him with another one. Oh, I wish he would just go a little further near those mines. There was mines right near him. Alright, I'm going to switch to my grenade launcher. I'm going to demonstrate the grenade launcher for you guys. I was wondering if I would take out their barricade, but I got him. Let me see if I can secure Bravo 1. Looks like I did take out their barricade too. Either that or it might have been a friendly throwing something from behind. One of our objectives have been attacked. Oh, man. I can't believe that guy survived. I got him, buddy. Every time I poke my head around that corner, I'm taking heavy fire. This is a really, really hot spot right here. I'm gonna be great. I feel like I'm getting ready to be outnumbered. Just lost control of an objective. Another kill! Need to reload! Echo. Alright, now we're going to switch gears and we're going to switch over to the Manifest map, which is cool because it's night, night time, it's a night map. They have Sector Delta. And I'll just use the recon drone to mark or to spot enemies. Spot enemy movement attack. and also to start use uh, the enemy EMP weapon Objective on enemy Echo vehicles.
Now we're going to take a quick look at the Special Forces Assault Rifle. It, like I said before, it comes with a 40mm grenade launcher. But uh, right now I'm just going to show you guys. I'm going to flank these guys. I saw them using the drone. And I could see that I could flank them easily. So now I'm just going to keep moving in and I'm going to push. And he got me. I don't He got me coming around that corner. And now here's the the M5C bolt. We'll take a closer look at And I'm going to put down some wet... Um, Secret weapon. It, ju it just dropped a whole bunch of mines. I went right on the D-pad. And now look, they hit those mines. Again, I went right on the D-pad and it puts down a whole bunch of mines. I think it's like four or five mines. And if you've already got mines, like if you have mine anti-tank mines in your loadout already and you already have two mines down, it doesn't matter. It doesn't take them away. It just puts even more mines down. Here's a quick look at the map Orbital. And uh, this is a cool map. It's, um, you can see it's got that space shuttle. So I'm going to try to secure this objective here. I'm taking fire. Another way to level up quick is to uh, attack objectives. Get ob objective ribbons, that was a thousand XP. And we got enemy movement flying in. So I'm going to call in a little ranger. Our forces control most ranger. sectors. Go to the now I can get in my drone and the little ranger can protect me. I called in that little ranger because... I might, I don't know if I could aim down my sights or not. Right there.
gonna hit this guy with an EMP. Putting those tank mines down. Because there's a lot of vehicles on, driving everything. around. Tank in Sector Charlie. And uh, again, any vehicles to hit those tank mines will, will be destroyed. Not just tanks. But it's hard to secure this objective with those tanks right there. I got one of them. Friendly targeting Alpha 1. Explosives in place. You get three tank mines, and you They're get three final of those um, F FXM-33 missiles for the missile launcher. But then if somebody, if you know somebody, if you're near somebody that has some resupply, you can get resupplied. Sector Delta. 